All right, here now with reaction is South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, good to see you. By the way, the world is ending Thank in you. 12 years. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what I hear. <laughs> uh, all right, a lot of issues here. Um, how could anybody look in the eye of a parent that lost a kid yeah, from a heroin yeah. overdose and not say or say that this is manufactured or look in the face of an angel mom or dad same issue there and not even be willing to talk about the issue with the president when it's life and death safety and security and yeah. then to put out all of these demands it makes it impossible well, what you don't have is uh, clips of Democratic senators saying this because they know it's a death blow to the party. President Trump made a brilliant political move and good for the country to go to the middle. Wall plus DACA plus TPS. I've had more Democratic senators talk to me in the last two days than talk to me in the last 30 days. The harder Nancy Pelosi goes left and the more Trump goes to the middle, we're going to get this thing solved. Well, tomorrow I can see Chuck Schumer mm -hmm. lining up all the Democrats to vote yeah. against that right. compromise plan. And again, right. TPA, DACA, right. Dreamers. Right. And right. by the way, the House on the furl wanting to pay the furloughed employees, the Republicans, right. no Democrats supporting that either. So I guess that was a lie also. Well, what's going to happen? You'll have a vote tomorrow on President's plan that will get almost all Republicans, very few Democrats. We'll have Schumer's proposal that I'll vote against. Then the hard work starts. We had a meeting today with about eight Democrats and about eight Republicans. And, you know, Nancy Pelosi's become a nightmare for the Democratic Party. She seems unreasonable. She seems to have a dislike for the president that is hurting the country. Uh, and this idea of not letting the president speak is really overplaying your hands. So I want to let your listeners know know that there's a reaction to this far left rhetoric in the Senate by more mainstream Democrats that I think will eventually allow us to get the wall funded and do some things for the DACA recipients and TPS recipients. There's a deal in the making and the more extreme Nancy Pelosi gets, the more likely we'll have a deal. It can not include amnesty. You're going to lose every conservative supporter of the president, uh, but it it's won't. not included. The president was pretty it clear about not. that. I promise you it will not. Okay. Um, it seems like Nancy Pelosi is intimidated and afraid of this new <laughs> radical extreme element. Yeah, I think so. I think she fears that she will lose her position as speaker very quickly. Um, what is your take and interpretation on the Constitution, Article 2, Section 3? Well, I think the president has a lot of power. I mean, she can disinvite him to the House, but come to the Senate, Mr. President. There's plenty of places the president can choose to deliver the State of the Union. But here's the question for America. What kind of union do you want? Do you want a country that looks more like Venezuela and less like America? If you do, follow these hard left people. They're going to take you to the land where the government taxes everything uh, in its power. They control every decision in life. And you'll see Venezuela come here. This is what this whole election is going to be about in 2020. Do we go further left and become like, like Venezuela? Or do we become the America that all of us want us to be? So if I'm a Democrat, these people are defining my party in a way that gives it a very limited future in America, in my view. So the president, to me, obviously, and I agree with him, views this as life and death, safety yes. and security, the American people, stopping the heroin, yes. the 90 percent of the heroin in this country from coming across the border, fentanyl. Um, he's about life. and That seems yeah. like a principled, strong position. Also part of his when he when he pledges to faithfully serve and protect the Constitution. That means it's people. He's a commander in chief as per right. the Constitution. What is the Democratic position? They don't want DACA. They don't seem to care about furloughed employees. Right. They don't seem to care about dreamers. Right. What, 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 they, what is this fight about then for them? They want Trump to fail more than they want the country to win. A dollar for the wall. Does that make sense in light of the caravans that have been coming? A broken border is more dangerous to the country than a partial government shutdown. In their world, there is no ice. You get a dollar for the wall and the Border Patrol agents are gassing children, not defending the country uh, uh, from an onslaught. So my view is that Democrats in the Senate 
are going to become more reasonable as these people define extreme positions. The president made a very smart move by putting on the table relief for DACA recipients, T TPS recipients, which the Democrats have been for for decades. Now let's see what kind of Democratic Party we've got. Do we have a Democratic Party that hates Trump so much they will say no to 1.1 million people having a better life? Or will we have some Democratic senators and some Democratic House members join with the president and me to solve this problem. You Time know, will tell. Look, the president, it seems, he, he does have other options. When we're dealing with drugs, yes, he does. gangs, cartels, yes. uh, human trafficking, drug trafficking, uh, real radical elements, and that's only the 2%. I believe the other 98% right. that don't respect our laws, but they come here for a better life for themselves and their families. I believe that. I haven't been down there a lot. So then the question is, when the president goes alone, national emergency, what happens next? Well, if I were him, I would use my power as commander in chief to build that wall because he promised to build it. Every Democrat has voted uh, for wall funding except when President Trump became president. But here's the way to go, I think. If I were the president, I would ask Nancy Pelosi if a bill passes the Senate that has wall funding for TPS, TPS would you take it up in the House? If she says yes, I would open the government for three weeks, let the Senate see if we can reach a deal, and if we can't, I would use the emergency powers as the Commander-in-Chief to bring this debacle to an end. Um, I'm not sure if he gives up his leverage, but if he's prepared to do the national emergency, he's, that means he's committed one way or the other yes. to getting this done. one way or the other. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for being with us.